Hello everyone, today I am going to create this parametric Murphy bed in Revit which is also known as the fold down bed or wall bed. As you can see here that you can rotate this bed at any angle between 0 and 90 degrees. At 90 degrees it is placed within the wall cabinet and at 0 degrees it is on the floor. You can also change the length and width of this bed and hence the cabinet according to your design. But before we start, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. Now let's start the tutorial. Open new furniture template file in Revit. Go to right elevation and here place two reference planes, two horizontal reference planes at a distance of three inches from each other. Then place another horizontal reference plane at a height of 1 feet from the previous reference plane, making the total distance as 1 feet 6 inches. Now make sure to lock all of these reference planes at these dimensions. Now select the reference line from the create tab and place it like this at an angle of 45 degrees. Then align this reference plane with this little blue dot here and then lock this and repeat this step with this horizontal reference plane. Then place an, this angular parameter here and I'm going to have named it angle then click on this dimension and assign the parameter of length of bed to this reference line create a new parameter in this dialog box with the name width of bed enter the dimensions of length and width according to the design and when you change the angle, you can see how the reference line is moving at that angle. So at, at the angle of 90 degrees so that it is fully placed on the floor plan. Now select extrusion from the create tab, select, set the reference plane to this reference line and draw a rectangle like this. Lock it, lock this down only one side and then make this dimension equal and assign the parameter of length and width as shown now go to right elevation and give it the, an extrusion and value of one inches now again go back to reference level floor plan Click extru uh, select extrusion, set the reference plane to this surface and draw another rectangle at an offset of minus 1 inches and draw it like this. Then go to right elevation and give this extrusion and value of 6 inches. Let's make the extrusion at 7 inches. You can change the values at any time. Now go to reference level floor plan. Again select extrusion. Set the reference plane to this surface and draw another rectangle at an offset of minus 4 inches, minus 6 inches. 
and draw like this. Give this an, an extrusion and value of 4 inches. In the floor plan, select sweep, click on sketch path, set the reference plane to this surface and draw a path like this. Click OK. Then go to front elevation, click on edit profile and draw a profile for sweep like this. Go back to reference level floor plan and again select extrusion and draw a rectangle for the pillow. Given an extrusion and value of 3 inches. Again select sweep, click on sketch path, set the reference plane to this surface, draw the path like this, click ok, go to front elevation and draw the profile for the sweep as shown. Select and move this below a little bit to the left. Delete this extrusion. Select this below. Go to floor plan and simply mirror and copy it. Go to 3D. This is how the bed looks like. You can see that when you change the dimensions in this dialog box, it uh, everything adapts to it. Now select the join command and join this extrusion with sweep like this. You can see that how this bed is moving with the help of this angular parameter with the help of reference plane with the help of reference line as you can see that we have uh, placed everything of this bed on the reference line and how it is moving between 0 and 90 degrees angle. Now select all the extrusions and sweeps. Select this rotate command click on copy and place the rotation point here and rotate it at 90 degrees like this. So now we have an other pad on the floor. Place a reference vertical reference plane like this at a distance of 1 feet 6 inches. Make sure to lock it down. Select this uh, horizontal bed and move it to this point. Select all the extrusions and sweeps of this horizontal bed and add a visibility parameter with the name horizontal bed. Now select all the sweeps and extrusions of this vertical bed and assign the par visibility parameter of vertical bed.
Now open the properties dialog box and in the visibility parameters add the formula which is if angle is less than 89 degrees then 2 is greater than 1 otherwise 1 is greater than 2. In this formula no is depicted by 1 and yes is depicted by 2 make uh, make this formula is angle is greater than 89 degrees now uh, enter the same formula in this vertical pad just keep angle is less than 89 degrees so this formula means that if the angle is 90 degrees then uh, vertical pad will not be visible and if the angle is less than 80, 90, 89 degrees then vertical pad will not be visible here the angle is 0 degrees and the horizontal pad is grayed out because it is a family file but in the project file it will not be visible now add some reference planes in this front elevation for the cabinet design Place the dimensions of 1 inches and lock it down for these reference planes. Assign the parameter length of pad for the height of cabinet and the width of pad for the width of cabinet. Now select extrusion and draw the profile like this. Go to right elevation, click OK and drag these arrows to set the extrusion. In the extrusion, the extrusion end value is 0 inches and the extrusion start value is going to be minus 1 feet 5 inches. Again select extrusion, set the reference plane to this surface, go to front elevation and draw a rectangle like this. Place a dimension between these two lines and lock it down. In the front elevation, draw two more reference planes like this make these reference planes as equal then select extrusion from the create tab 
set the reference plane to this surface and draw the profile like this I am going to create a very simple a very basic cabinet design you can design according to your choice Lock the dimensions of these extrusions as well. Copy and paste this extrusion to this reference plane. Also lock its dimensions. I forgot to add this equal parameter between these two reference planes. Don't forget to add it. Before you load this family in the project file, make sure that all the parameters are working correctly. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.